Hello to day five. So we are at the kitchen sink. So this is my kitchen sink. I just finished loading dishes and washing some dishes that I couldn't fit in there. So I'm going to clean my sink. And I'm pretty sure the way that I found to clean a sink was through um, Fly Lady. Is it flylady.net, I believe. Um, but I'll post the link to her website down below. Um, if that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But the one thing that she said to do is what she does um, is she fills her sink up as high as it will go and puts a little bit of bleach in each one and lets it sit for 30 minutes. I like that idea. I just don't like the thought of we have to pay for our water. And so that to me, that's just water that's literally going down the drain, want money going down the drain. So, and the next part she does is she, she like washes it with um, baking soda. So that's pretty much what I do is I just sprinkle baking soda in there and then I just scrub it with one of my little um, brush thingies, like the thing I do the dishes with. I just scrub it and then I let it sit for a couple minutes and then I just rinse it out with hot water. And you have to rinse it, just, for me, you have to rinse it a little bit more because um, it can cake up right around these edges for our sink. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. There is a little bit of food in here. I have already cleaned my um, little things. I usually put these in the dishwasher when I am cleaning my sink or right before I clean my sink just so I can get that done. But I'm just going to rinse any food particles down the drain. I got the big pieces out. Uh, let's go right up here. Stuck. Okay. So next part is easy, simple. Is I just sprinkle with baking soda, and then I just rub away. So I'm just going to let it sit. I'm going to go into the bathroom and rinse the baking soda off my hand just so I don't get any water on there. But it's good to use the baking soda or even just yeah, doing the bleach if you feel better doing that. We did have a well, um, but if we had a well, then I wouldn't have a problem with putting the water in here. I just I don't want to waste that much money in water. It might not even be that much. Anyway. Um, but using bleach or baking soda will help deodor deodorize, yeah, that's the right word, deodorize the drains. Like if you have food that go down there or drinks or oils or whatever, it helps kind of deodorize down inside your sink as well. So I'm going to let this sink sit and then I will be back. Now this is what happens when you leave the baking soda on the counter where a two-year-old or a toddler can get it. Well, now I gotta wash that stuff. Darn it. Alright, so it has been a little over five minutes. I went and washed my hands. I did some laundry. And now I'm gonna get my hot water. And I'm just gonna rinse it out. And we're done. And then I'll rinse out my sponge that I used. And if you have an underlying sink like mine, or any sink with grout, or like um, these little lips over here, you just need to make sure that, get some baking soda in there just to make sure there's no like fungus growing, mold, or anything like that. And you want to rinse it really, really, really well because you'll have like little white streaks left over from the baking soda. Alright, and my sinks are all clean. That was very simple, very quick and easy. Don't do it every six months. Do it like once a week and it feels amazing. Sometimes I do it after I do dishes just so I can see the shiny sink. I love looking at a shiny clean sink. So, we're done.